if you measure one, then you know where the other one is going, right? That's entanglement. The observed state of one system can be related to the observed state of another system. So those are the two ingredients. You're a quantum system, and quantum systems can be entangled with each other. So Hugh Everett, who was a graduate student when he invented this idea in the 1950s, said, look, when you measure that electron, what happens physically? Like, forget about you're a person, you're conscious, all that BS. Like, you're a physical system. You obey the Schrodinger equation. You, you are a quantum mechanical system. You obey the laws of physics. So you look at the electron. Your wave function changes. It used to be you're just a person doing whatever you do, but then after you look at the electron, you become entangled with it. And it splits. So there is one part of the wave function that says the electron was spinning clockwise and you measured it spinning clockwise. And there's another part of the wave function that says the electron was spinning counterclockwise and you saw it spinning counterclockwise. Now,